Donald Trump's lighthearted response to a second assassination attempt highlights a unique blend of resilience and composure under personal threat. He manages to navigate adversity without leaning into traditional displays of strength or vulnerability, opting instead for a casual deflection. His remark, I always say that is a very dangerous game, downplays the gravity of the situation, showing his knack for turning threats into opportunities to project control and confidence. <laughs> well, Mr. P, how's your golf game? Well, I uh, haven't been thinking about it too much lately. <laughs> was, uh, I, I always said golf is a very dangerous game. It really <laughs> is. It really is. Especially if they're playing with you. Yeah, oh. uh, that's true. That's, what, that's that was a mean sad. joke? <laughs> pretty sad. <laughs> Did you, if they had told you that the shooter was there, would you have tried to take him out with your three wood? Uh, I think so. Yeah. I think so. If I knew. Actually, the Secret Service did a great job. They saw the barrel of a gun, big gun. Yeah. And it came out through bushes. And how many people would see that? First, you know, he really was uh, very exceptional to have done it. And uh, we've been going through a lot of it. We're getting very good at it. But I don't want to say that too loudly because we don't want to. We don't want to bring any jinxes along, Tyrus. So, yeah, but, but it's. Uh, <laughs> it's, it is, it's I mean, at a, least it's, he could have yelled four. Well, <laughs> Uh, it, this is not a good thing to have practice at. No. Like, you're getting really good at stopping no. assassinations of Donald Trump. In acknowledging the Secret Service's exceptional work, Trump not only shows appreciation for law enforcement, but aligns himself with the conservative trust in national security. His comment, We're getting very good at it, suggests a seasoned familiarity with danger, subtly reinforcing his image as a leader who thrives under pressure. The public focus centers on his unflinching demeanor, especially in life-threatening moments, which further cements his reputation as a steadfast figure who isn't easily rattled. Trump's ability to laugh off multiple assassination attempts reflects a deeper psychological resilience. His and Greg Gutfeld's choice to inject humor into such high-stakes situations serves as a form of cognitive reframing transforming fear into camaraderie. By laughing in the face of danger, both speaker and audience diffuse the tension, making the gravity of the situation more bearable and creating a shared sense of ease amidst the seriousness.